What, ha what happened to you? Do you think you could let me in, please? Sure, sorry. Thank you. What's with the cop car? Are you okay? No. No, I am definitely not okay. Does this have anything to do with what happened in court today? Well, I wouldn't know what happened in court today. I got a little sidetracked. Well, some weird guy testified that he planned the bomb, but he said he was after Jack Snyder. I'm sure your father will explain it to you all later. Look, I'm, I, I don't mean to be short with you. It's just that if I don't wrap my arms around my little boy within, like, the next 20 seconds, I'm going to start screaming. So do you think that you could get him for me? I just wanted to tell you, Margo, that Julia was admitted to Fairfield Benedict Hospital for evaluation. I'll put that in the report, Jack. Come on, they've got a good rep. She'll be treated well. Yeah. What about Carly? How is Carly? As fine as anyone can be who went through what she did today. And what exactly did your wife put her through, Jack? Julia took her someplace remote. It was quicksand. If I hadn't gotten there when I did, Julia would have... Carly might have drowned. Where is she now? Hell, had a squad car take her home. She's probably there. Well, hey, how was Julia when you got her to the hospital? Completely irrational. Even at her worst, I was able to get through to her a little. But now... I'm not even sure she's going to be competent enough to stand trial. If you had paid a little more attention to how sick your wife is, a lot of people would have spared a lot of misery, Jack, like Carly. You know, we could all do well to take better care of the people we love. Now, Jack did save Carly's life, so no, let's No, he's drop right. It. He's right this time, Margo. I blew it. I should have seen this coming. Come on, Jack. How could you know how far Julia would go? Because I knew something about Julia, and I kept it to myself. And if I had gone public with it a long time ago, maybe none of this would have happened. You want to tell us what that is? I knew that Julia was in a bad way. Much worse than anyone suspected. And I didn't tell anyone. And I really don't expect any of you to understand why. Here, Parker, it's Mummy. <laughs> oh, hi, sweetie. Hi. Oh, I love you. Come here. I love you so much more than you know, honey. Hey, oh, I know. Look what I'm doing to you. I'm getting mud all over your pajamas, huh? <laughs> And I bet you're wondering why your mama looks like you do after you've been making mud pies, right? Well, I, um... It's because I had a... a kind of adventure tonight. A really muddy, muddy, mucky adventure. But that's okay, because sometimes adventures are good. They help you see what's really important. And this one helped me to decide something. Something that I would like to talk to you about, okay? Okay. I won't get you muddy. <laughs> do you, um, do you remember Milo? The little cat who set out to see what the world was like outside his barn? No? Well, at, at first he, he was happy about it. He was fishing and chasing butterflies. But after a while, he started to miss all of his friends back at the barn. He was tired. Your mommy's really tired, too. There is such a thing as too many adventures. And I know that you have had more than your fair share in your little life, haven't you? So, the idea of a normal life it's really starting to appeal to me, you know? Pancakes every morning for breakfast. Mommy home by six, Jamie's on by eight. What do you think? Would you like that? <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you what. Starting now, starting this very week, I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on normal. Mommy is gonna get a job that that will pay me enough that we don't have to need help from Craig or Jack or even your daddy, okay? 
You are the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. And I want you to always, always feel safe, okay? And I promise you, Parker, I will never, ever let anything happen to you. You can count on that. You can count on me. You are my main man, buddy. Now and always. It's just you and me, kid, okay? I, uh, I know I said I'd babysit tonight, but do you want to take him home? Yeah, well, I would love to, but wait right there. I, um, I don't know what kind of shape my apartment's in, and I don't want him to. Do you know what I am going to do for you, mister? I'm going to get you some juice. Ta-da! And I'm going to promise you that I'm going to be back first thing in the morning to make those pancakes with the ears. You know, he's been asking for them a lot. But what are they? It's a promise I made, huh? Mickey Mouse pancakes, huh? And then everything happened. And... But Parker, I promise you that starting now, Everything is going to be different. I promise you, okay? 